if you know I work for subscriptions, why you ain't subscribed yet? What are we waiting for, fam? Let's do that. What? The governor. To the governor, fam. To what? The governor one. <laughs> you can do it. You got 20 seconds. Hello, governor. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you think about it? Hello, governor. Hello. Hello, governor. Hello, governor. <laughs> Good morning, Governor. You know we're breaking down Conor McGovern today, who is everything that uh, Conor, McGre Conor Williams was supposed to be. Uh, Have you lost your dang mind? Uh, ooh, I said it. Yeah, I said it. Uh, but hear me out, though. I think that he's everything that Conor Williams was supposed to be at guard. Conor Williams was a guy who played a lot of tackle in college, and I think that's where he's best suited because of his footwork and his agility. That's his strong suit. Uh, so it's not a knock on Connor Williams by saying that McGovern is everything he was supposed to be uh, at guard because he wasn't supposed to be a guard to begin with. So without further ado, here goes McGovern, man. This dude is a fucking nightmare for anybody, excuse my French, that gets in front of him. He not only stops his guy, as you can see here, look at 40. 40 went on a ride, man. Uh, he finishes you. You're not making a play when he gets his hands on you. This is the type of stopping power and punch we were looking for out of Connor Williams. And I think Williams just didn't have it last year. I don't know if if, if McGovern's going to trans, uh, translate into uh, pop in the NFL either. I don't know what that transition is going to uh, look like. I don't know if he's going to bring it with him. But I hope he does because what I see on film, I usually have something, at least something bad to say about a guy. Like, I do good, bad, and ugly breakdowns. He just has good. Uh, bad, I don't I don't really see any. Haven't seen anything that I would say, damn, he's stopped this. Like, he's folding guys in half. He's getting to the next level. He has good agility. He punches guys. He stops you in his tracks. He stops stunts and games. You'll see a lot of different schemes in front going off in front of him. But the one thing that remains constant is his guy is out of the play. However he does it. His guy's out of the play. Sometimes he uses strength. Sometimes he just uses a quick sw uh, 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 twitch of the hips, and he'll just swing his hip like this right here. You see, he swings his hips or kind of pivots right around you, and once he does that, you have to either rip him off, which you can't because he's strong as hell, or you have to you know spin out or do something. But there's just I haven't seen anybody put any moves on him um, that 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 really work. Now he probably doesn't have the same ability is counter williams as, as it pertains to uh fast speedy guys like they might get with him because he, he does look a little sluggish but um he doesn't matter because he's going to be inside anyway you guys remember larry allen uh he's a big guy and i'm not saying he's larry allen so don't start that shit but i am saying that um a third round grade on this guy we got a steal uh i like him better than i like hill i like him better than i like most of our draft picks period, over the last two years, like, and I mean, even more than I liked Van Der Esch, I liked Van Der Esch when he came out, but, um, he had some knocks on him that I said, if he didn't fix, he was gonna, he was gonna struggle uh, in the NFL, and, um, he got to him, he started, he, he got, he got, he got with it, you know, he got stronger, he started using his length and his eyes more, and flowing to the ball using his strength, so Van Der Esch had a hell of a rookie year, but, um, I'm saying that to say, I like this guy coming in, more than I've liked, I think, anybody coming in. Uh, and that's a lineman. I'm not even a lineman guy. But he gets to his assignment. He's not slow at all. When I say slow, I mean he's not slow to recognize where the blitz is coming from or where the free free runner is. He gets there. And when he gets there, as you can see, that's a 320-pound guy. He's just driving him back five yards as if it's nothing. He has no problem with stopping. Look, look, look. Look, look how far back 57 is. He's a linebacker, yeah, but he had no chance on, on anything. Like, that's ridiculousness at its, at its best. Like, that's perfection, man. Like, his guys do not make plays. Whoever he blocks, just, you know, that's it for you. That's it for you. And to give him, I don't know where the third-round grade comes from, to be honest with you. I have to read the scouting report. I haven't done that. I try not to read the scouting report before I do a breakdown because I don't want to start looking for the flaws that they've described i'd like to you know just have a clean you know eye at it but 
you know, look at this guy, man. I just, I, he, he takes on two people on that one. Um, I can't say enough positive things about him. I could have stopped this video right here. It's just that I recorded 10 minutes of footage. So we're going to watch 10 minutes of footage. Uh, God help me because I, I don't really have anything else to say other than I like McG McGovern. Um, I think that he's definitely going to solidify the inside for us. He's, he's the guarantee that Connor Williams will no longer be a guard. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. This guy is the guard. Uh, he's our right or left. I don't care where you put him. Uh, but right or left guard, he's there. Um, I would say move Zach Martin to left. Leave him at right because Zach has the experience. Maybe switching to the left might be a little bit troublesome for him. So move Zach to the left. Uh, I'd rather have Zach at 90% at left than 100% at right and have this guy at 100% at right, you know. Why? Because Zach Martin is just that good. Uh, I, I take Zach's 80% over most guys, 100% any day. So having him at left guard, even if there is a little bit of uh, uncomfortability there, um, so what? Uh, I think that would be a good move. Uh, moving Connor Williams to a swing tackle right now. Um, and having him replace either Liel Collins or Tyron Smith as time moves forward will probably be the best play uh, for our offensive line coach. So uh, for me, that's where I think we are. I think I think that's I think that's what we're going to do. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a uh, prophet, but I really do think that's what we're going to do because going after McGovern only makes sense for for either um, extension leverage if you don't want to resign. A guy, but I think we love Zach Martin. Uh, we love Fredericks. Uh, you know, so I don't think he's extension leverage. Uh, I think he's really a guy that's coming in to replace Connor Williams at guard. Uh, and I love him. Uh, yeah. The governor for president, man. He's in. But um, yeah, just watch how he finishes these blocks. We'll just call out his blocks now, man, the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the video. Just watch how he finishes. You know, his guys, their feet either stop like this right here. And he's walled off. There's nothing 95 can do to make a play. Now, he's, he's, he's making hits, you know, five, six, seven yards down the field because McGovern ain't having it, man. He's not having it. Uh, he's, he's pretty damn good at uh, adjusting to, you know, different schemes and whatever is, is, is asked of him. He, he really gets to it. So, you know, for me, um, yeah, that's it. He's my favorite draft pick in the last two two years, I think, yeah. Last two years, he's our favorite, my favorite. I can't think of anyone that I liked more. None. No one. I mean, during the draft, that is. Now, of course, now I have guys that I like. But during the draft, um, yeah, watching film, and I like him better than anything I saw last year. And uh, and I liked Connor Williams. So don't get me twisted. Like, Connor Williams was pretty good. Uh, but as far as film is concerned, taking one game and just analyzing it, this guy blocks almost perfect games. Even when he gives up a sack or even when a sack gets through there, uh, it's, it's, it's usually due to suddenness or maybe a stunt or, or a blitz that he just couldn't get to. But it's not I haven't seen a guy beat him. You know, I've seen guys trick him <laughs> once or twice, but I haven't seen a guy beat him. And when I say beat him, I mean just bowl him over, throw him out of the way, dump him, and get to the quarterback. If he pisses, look at 40. Watch watch how he finishes this play. 40, 40's feelings are hurt. He just, he pancaked the shit out of him. Like he, his feelings are hurt. I would, I would feel bad if my mom was in the stands and he did that to me. I think I would have to see him. In. Look at this. This is a wall. There is not, the entire offensive line gets their hat uh, for this one. But that was a wall, man. Uh, McGovern, and, even though it was a fumble on that play, they, they, they did their jobs. Look at this. This guy, 66 on the, on, the, on the right, on the top of the screen. This guy just sitting there watching, like always. They don't get any action. I will be bored as hell playing football against this guy because you can't do anything. Like You can't do anything, man. So for me, like I said, Govern needs to start immediately. I like him. Uh, I think he's what we were looking for uh, in Connor Williams at guard. And I think that uh, Connor Williams needs to be moved to tackle as a result of McGovern's uh, film. Uh, and I'm saying that before we even see any camp or anything. I like McGovern. McGovern's potential is ridiculous. You can't manhandle the guy at all. Uh, and he's smart. Uh, he's smart. Uh, he, he gets caught out there on some stunts sometimes. 
but that's only due to speed. Look at him. He just fold, he folds this guy over. His guy's on the ground. Like, McGovern is no joke. He throws fucking defensive tackles on the ground like they're boys, man. Like, he's a man amongst boys. The last man amongst boys that we have drafted, I think, was Roy Williams, the safety. Like, he was a man amongst, like, in, in his college film, it just didn't look like, you know, the guys who were playing against him were supposed to be out there with him. Uh, and he, McGovern has that, that it factor as well. Like, it doesn't look like these guys are even in collegiate uh, are collegiate athletes. They don't They don't look like it when he touches them. Well, once he gets his hands on them, he just he mauls them, he stops them in their tracks. So, uh, more to come. I'm going down the list, you know, obviously from second round through the rest of the draft. I'm giving you guys time to absorb the content. That's why I'm doing one a week. Plus, I want to actually do the research. I don't want to just throw something out there just to say it's done in a day and I then I start finding other things a week later. So, I'm taking my time, but uh, this was a pleasure to uh, break down. Um, honestly, the easiest breakdown and the corniest breakdown I've ever done because there's nothing else to say other than he's good. Welcome.